It's signing day week on the Recruiting Roundup, powered by Rock and Refuel Varsity. That's Jason Jewell, Scout.com. I'm Jared Cohen, as always, and we have a ton of commitments to get to, a lot of news, getting you ready for signing day. Let's start with the commitments for the 2016 class that happened over the last week. John Ukwali out of North Canyon had a crazy week, but ultimately he sealed his commitment. Yeah, you know, early on it looked like he was going to commit to Boise State, then Utah State, and both ended up filling up. And to be honest, that's the reality of recruiting. It just happens sometimes. But, you know, thank God that John was able to have some other schools in the mix and he took his last visit to Wyoming and he committed to the Cowboys while he's up on his visit. And what kind of player are they getting because he was as you mentioned pretty sought after once news got out that 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 his recruitment had changed. You know early on you know he had Pac-12 offers he had Washington State and he had Colorado you know not to mention uh, the other offers that he had you know he's a guy that I think could play on either side of the ball he's known as a receiver but you watch his tape he's a hard-hitting uh, defensive back so I think he can play on either side of the ball at Wyoming. Let's get over to the big sky NAU and Montana in the mix offering some guys here and getting commitments late. Let's start with NAU. Yeah, NAU got Desi Etheridge, a safety out of Red Mountain, hard-hitting kid, guy that I really, really like. Thought he was a very underrated player. NAU was his only offer, surprisingly, at the Division One level. He took it last weekend on his uh, official visit. And Montana got two players that you have just been talking about for months. Yeah, you know the Grizz have done a good job recruiting here. Have several other kids committed. Got two more. Got Randy Rodriguez, the defensive lineman, Centennial, another guy that he was very under the radar guy. Plays very, very hard. And they got Josh Egbo, a running back out of Highland, who they're going to convert. To a defensive back. Isaiah Goodspeed becomes the first Division I player football-wise out of Joy Christian High School. Yeah, he committed to Air Force on his official visit, so congrats to him being the first in, in his school history, set in, set in school history over there at Joy Christian, won their state title, big-time get for Air Force. Big Roy Lopez committed over the last week. Yeah, this one kind of surprised me. Going to my alma mater, he committed to New Mexico State over Utah State, so the Aggies beat the Aggies on that one. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I like that one. The biggest deal was that uh, New Mexico State was going to get Give Roy a chance to play on the defensive line where most everybody else was recruiting him as an offensive lineman. And that wasn't it for New Mexico State. They added a special teams player. Kind of special teams and scholarships in Arizona has been a theme here. Yeah, it's the second special teamer out of Desert Vista High School. You know, Connor Culp's committed to LSU. Well, their punter, Peyton Thies, are committed to New Mexico State as well. And then let's talk about uh, out of Columbia. A big one, a smart kid, Caleb Pitts. Uh, he's going to be going to the Ivy League. Oh, the Hamilton wide receiver and Columbia is getting an absolute steal. What a senior season this guy had. He had a division one offer from Army. Again, a steal for the, uh, Columbia. And let's get into some offers. One quick offer, better late than never, right, for the 2016 class and this player from Williamsfield. Yeah, Noah Gerald, the, uh, their defensive end and all Arizona uh, pick got offered by Montana. And then how about some 2017 offers? Jason, Nebraska came in and wanted to get in the mix for some of the top guys in this class from this state. Yeah, they, they go after Tyler Johnson. The, the Cornhuskers offered him. Uh, K.J. Jarrell. And Isaiah Polamal uh, from Mountain Point. So, you know, those three kids, all four star guys by Scout.com. And then it wasn't the only offer for Jarrell. He also had Mississippi State and Utah. And then how about a couple quarterbacks getting in the mix, starting with the young gun, Spencer Rattler? Yeah, the freshman, the 2019 prospect, got his second SEC offer from Kentucky. Then the other quarterback, Chase Cord, Sunrise Mountain, got another Division one offer from Iowa State. So, Jason, signing day is upon us. Let's talk about some of the players that will be on your radar once the, the the pen hits the paper, but guys that haven't committed yet. Yeah, so obviously the, it's going to be the defensive lineman, Connor Murphy, you know, picking between USC and Oregon and Michigan, DJ Davidson uh, out of Desert Ridge, picking between Memphis and uh, Central Florida, and the other Brophy player, Dante Diaz Infante, has a handful of other offers uh, that he's going to pick from. And finally, Jason, when you, let's put a bow on this 2016 class. What will you remember from this class as it pertains to recruiting, not necessarily the play on the field, but what ended up resulting as, as uh, their recruitment unfolded? You know, uh, and on the show, we kind of focus on the Division I guys and, and you know, playing football at any level uh, in college is huge for any kid and it's something they should be proud of. But you look at the number of smaller schools, NAI and Division IIs, uh, that have come in here and got some very good players. You look at, like, a Colorado Pueblo, a Division II power, snagging uh, Dewan Lawrence from Joy Christian, uh, a guy that had a Division I offer from South Dakota State at one time. But I think it's kind of the year of the small schools, guys leaving it and branching out and taking some of those smaller school offers. And, and Adam State also one of those schools. Hey, they have a former player that's on the Arizona Cardinals roster now, so it's any opportunity to go play football at the next level is a great one, and as Jason mentions, that is a prime example. That's it for the Roundup. Signing day on Wednesday. We'll bring a kind of do a recap and then look forward to 2017 and beyond on next week's edition, but until then, that's Jason Jewell of Scout.com. I'm Jared Cohen. It's the Recruiting Roundup, powered by Rock and Refuel Varsity.